welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this JP Infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a cloud-based project which is implemented in Java which is entitled as a key policy attribute based temporary keyword search scheme for secure cloud storage so in this paper the authors are introduced a concept called search tokens so this search tokens will be preventing the the, uh, the cipher text which is used for searching the data in the cloud so they have mentioned that uh, due to this uh, some leakages some information leakages happens so to make the system more secure they have introduced this search tokens and they have named this as a new cryptographic primitive called key policy attribute based temporary keyword search the entities used in this project are data owner data user cloud server and TTP that is trusted third party and we have implemented this project in Java using NetBeans IDE 8.2 and for the database we have used MySQL and for the cloud we have used DriveHQ so we are not going to completely host the project in the cloud we are going to save the data whichever the data that is going to be saved in this DriveHQ cloud okay this is a free cloud service provider so let us uh, load the project now so it takes some time to load this project here you can see the progress of it so kindly wait till the progress is completed And now we can run it so just right click it and click run Now you can see the home page of the project with the title of the project a key policy attribute based temporary keyword search scheme for secure cloud storage and uh, the abstract which is mentioned in the base paper and as mentioned in the base paper the entities of data owner, data user, cloud server and TTP. So the cloud server and TTP reminds with one uh, user ID and password and uh, data owner can register and data user can register new users can be registered and can be logged in so before uh, login I will make my antivirus stop So first one I'll go to the data owner and as we are a new user so we will register by clicking sign up now. So here enter the name. and enter the name email id date of birth gender phone number city country password and confirm password and click sign up so once you can see the success message here you have been 
registered successfully just log in by giving the entering the email id the password and click login now you can see the login is failed so we'll go to the ttp now So enter the TTP as username and password. So this is the home screen of the TTP. Just click view owners. Here you can see the owner ID, the name, the email ID, the date of birth city which was registered now. So first the TTP should give approve once after the approval of the ttp only the data owner can able to log in so here here you can see the view users as there is no any user you can see there is no any user table and there is no request so first we will approve this user so click approve so data owner approved successfully click ok now log out and now go to the data owner now enter your email id the password and click login now you, you can see the login successful message and click ok ok and now you can see the welcome screen of the data owner here you can click file upload you can see the option of uploading the file the files which you have, we have uploaded so we are not uploaded anything so the things are empty so first we will upload a file and I'll show you here you can see the data owner registration has been approved the message has been received to the user the data owner so I have registered with this email id jp infotech project so I have received this data owner registered has been approved so you'll be giving him receiving an email so here uh, we need to we need to upload a file so i'll create a file now i'll go to d drive and i create a file with test demo 2021 okay So test demo 2021 I will save this content so I'm going to upload this file now so choose file test demo 2021 so this is the file name and enter a file key and click upload So the upload is in progress now you can see the message file uploaded successfully now we will show you you can see the view file name with the uh, details of the file name now you will be as i mentioned you that we will be storing the files in the cloud in the drive hq so let us go to this drive hq and refresh it now you can see the test demo 2021.txt which was uploaded now okay you can see the date and time okay which was uploaded now just if you click that you can see the data has been encrypted because for the security purpose so anyone cannot read the data of it so the file is hosted in the cloud now so you can see the uploaded file details in the localhost here also so there is no any request right now so there is no any request you can see the table is empty now now log out now we'll go to the data user so data user as i don't have any data user now i will register as a data user i will register data user as a new name uh, say example Narin. 
so I'll keep on email ID here So I have entered the details for the u data user registration part that is name, email id, date of birth, gender, phone, city, country, password, confirm password and click sign up. So now uh, the you can see the success message here. So now we will log in into the data user login part by the email id given there through the, when the part of registration and the password and click login. You can see the login fail message because the TTP should approve it. So let us log into the TTP part. Click login. So here you can now you can see the view users. Here you can see earlier I have shown this table was empty. Now you can see the details of that user with the details which we entered right now here and click approve. So the data user approved successfully now log out if you check your email here you can see this email id i have given for the data user now you can see the data user has been approved a uh, message has been displayed here now let us log into the data user part So earlier it was failed and now you can see the login is successful because TTP has approved this user. So click OK. Now you can see the options of search get so search token, search file, request secret file, view secret file, download and logouts. So let us see this. check this. So once if you click this get search token. So if you wanted to search any file from the cloud you need to get the token and this token will be a temporary token which means that it will be changing dynamically uh, so every time you'll be ha getting a new token for the security purpose so dynamically so you, this is the main concept of the paper so uh, let us click get token so token sent successfully now go to the search file part so now here you need to enter the file keyword so for example what i have entered is like a demo 2021 and you wanted to enter the search token so first check your email so you can see this is valid for five minutes from now so this is the search token so enter this search token in case if you are not like for example i am entering a random number you can see incorrect search token here okay so you wanted to enter the correct search token now you can see the file which is uploaded by the owner which what is the file name the details uploaded date and time okay Now you can request now you can request in case if you need this file so you can request with the file ID so the file ID is F9009 so enter the file ID and click request okay here you can see the username the request uh, uh, for the secret key okay now click request so the request has been sent successfully now here you can see view secret key that is empty so once after receiving the secret key you will you can see it so go to the data owner now here you can see view secret key request here you can see the which user has requested it what is the file name 
and file id file name and then uploaded time okay so once if this user wanted to approve this one you can click approve so file approved successfully now i will log into the data user part and show you how it works now in the data user part you can click to the view secret key as i shown earlier it was empty now you can see uh, the the view secret key option which is been received from the data owner so click get secret key so once if you click get secret key you can see the message secret key sent successfully so you can check your email now so you can see the username with the file secret key just you can copy this secret key now you can you can see in the download option the requested file you can decrypt and download click decrypt and download you can see the encrypted format in here and once if you enter the decryption key only you can download it so i am showing us some bogus numbers here so if you click download you can see it is failed okay so once if you enter only the correct decryption key and click download you can download that file okay okay test demo 2021 is downloaded in the desktop you can see that the contents which we have uploaded okay So log out. Let us go to this cloud server con login. So here you can see view cloud files. Here you can see what all the files available in the cloud. View data owner. So what all the who are all the data owner with their details. View users. The name, email ID, gender, data, birth, city, country, and at last the performance analysis part with a static graph. consisting of the implementation time encryption and decryption time showing that existing takes only lesser time compared compared to the existing one proposed one takes only lesser time when compared to the existing one and this is all about the project a key policy attribute based temporary keyword search scheme for secure cloud storage thank you